Chance. This is talking about choosing a career. This is uh, 12.1F. Um, let's make a start on it. So, so the first one we got is I first worked in a small factory. So the first clause on this one here that we have to work out is here. So I worked, I have worked, so we're using the perfect tense here. Ich habe uh, gearbeitet. So ich habe gearbeitet. And uh, the past participle here obviously needs to go to the end of the clause. So it would go basically uh, before because. Now first of all is zuerst. So zuerst means first of all. Now in a small factory is in einer kleinen, almost made a mistake there, okay now it's, uh, get that in a minute, in einer uh, kleinen, so it's uh, die Fabrik, <coughs> therefore after in, so it is a dative uh, situation so to speak, a use of in, uh, there's also an accusative one, we won't go into it now, um, whereby D words will add on ER to EIN, all right? So the adjective, you always add on EN here, and then finally we've got Fabrik. So in einer kleinen Fabrik. So we need to move the uh, gearbeitet, of course, and uh, just take that over here and place it over here. So let's just put a comma down after that as well to make the clause separate from the other bit. <clears throat> now the next bit we've got, it's got three quite complicated clauses in this one here. And I'm just going to make this a little bit more manageable by making it smaller. Um, because I could not decide, okay, what, now what I actually wanted to do, this would be a separate clause here. So we're going to deal with because I could not decide, okay. So it's a vile situation. So we've got vile. Now, I could decide. Now, sich entscheiden means to decide, all right? It's a reflexive verb, as you can see here. So, because it's ich, I, so we put the ich down here, that sich is going to change to uh, mich. Now, put the mich in here already. So, you've got mich here. I'm just going to sort of make it bold, just so it stands out from uh, what's around it, okay? Uh, that's if it lets me. Uh, let's just put Arial Black into it. So Arial Black. So weil ich mich. So we've okay. Uh, n now the next word. Let's just deal with the uh, negative there because I couldn't decide. Okay. So nicht. So we need uh, nicht here. So we've got nicht. We'll get there in a minute. Okay. We've got the wheel of thingy jiggy. All right. So we just put that there, and that's going to come after the mich. All right. The two remaining verbs are going to go to the end of the sentence. Okay, let's just do that now. Let's just put that over here, like so. So, weil ich mich nicht. Okay, now, could decide. So, the German for could, okay, is konnte from können. Okay, and decide from sich entscheiden. The rest of it is entscheiden wie das meine Damen und Herren. Now, if I wasn't there, okay, well, it still wouldn't be correct because actually Conta would actually sit over here. Okay, but Entscheiden would be at the end of the sentence. However, Conta is the first verb coming after the vowel and that needs to therefore end up at the end of the sentence. So let's just put that over here like so. All right, let's just get rid of that. Okay, so <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to make it a little bit smaller. Take it down to 69, six, uh, 68. Six, All right, okay, got it. Right. So what I actually wanted to do, so what here is not the question what, it's a connective word, so was, so as a connective, it does mean therefore whatever the first verb is, has to end up at the end of the sentence. So was ich eigentlich, so eigentlich means actually, now ich wollte is I wanted, okay, and to do, uh, okay, is machen. So. Uh, modal verb in the past tense and perfect version of it ich wollte machen okay so that is the first verb therefore it then needs to go over here all right so i'm just going to put it there get rid of the full stop here and put it there okay so have a good look at that there uh, this is a backup just to make sure that i haven't left anything out this is the uh, pre-done one as it were Okay, so number two, ladies and gents, <coughs> moving on. Um, now, when one day the tap didn't work at my house, I tried to fix it myself. This is quite a complex, nice little, this is real good German sentence to try and work out here, guys. 
So, talking about the past tense, so is als. Now, one day, it's literally of one day. It's a sort of set, say set phrase, but set bit of a sentence, if you like. So, eines Tages, of one day, literally. Okay, it's genitive. Now, um, der Wasserhahn, which is actually the subject in the sentence here. Okay, so der Wasserhahn, so we've got... Now, der Wasserhahn, let's try and just work out some of the other things here. At my house is literally by mir. So by mir, by me rather. Okay, um, I'm time, manner, place. Okay, it sits quite nice, nicely just between these two here. So you've got the time phrase, eines Tages. So, hours, when, eines Tages, one day, by mir, at my house, with me literally, der Wasserhahn, the tap didn't work. All right, let's work out this didn't work business. So, ours has the same effect as vile. So, it didn't work, okay. Um, now, um, der Wasser, sorry, the, the tap didn't work, so let's just put it up here first of all. So, der Wasserhahn, okay, literally has not worked. So, hat nicht, okay, and then to work, we're gonna use funktionieren. So, funktionieren. Get there in a minute. So functioneren now. Past participle of it, it's an irum verb. You just cross off the N, put a T, you don't put a G at the front, ladies and gents. So that is how it stands at the moment. Okay, so functioneered as the past participle would normally come at the end of the sentence. However, we got ours, therefore the first verb needs to go after it. So that is essentially what we now need to do with this bit down here. So let's just uh, so you got der Wasserhahn nicht. Okay, so we've got nicht, and I just realised that if I do it this way, I'm going to be really fussy. I really want to keep it in with um, the font codes that I'm using. So let's have nicht here, like that. Okay, and then, fun <coughs> pardon me, funktioniert hat, wie das. Als eines Tages bei mir der Wasserhahn nicht funktioniert hat, when one day the tap didn't work at my house, I tried to fix it myself. So, in effect, this is going to be the second clause, and this is going to be a third clause here. I have tried, for suchen, okay, often comes with, uh, so I, I try to do it. It's for zuche, comma, es zu machen, okay? Two clauses there. For zuche, for zuche is just one little clause by itself. So we're going to deal with just I tried here, ladies and gents. Now, I tried, I have tried, is ich habe versucht, versucht, I should say, ich habe versucht, okay, I have tried, now notice, because uh, versuchen begins with V-E-R, we don't put G-E at the front, now we need, however, verb backing on verb, therefore the next thing that we need to do is just swap these over like so, okay, so habe ich versucht, to fix it, all right, Okay, so to fix it myself, not just to fix it, but to fix it myself. Okay, let's just get that in there. All right, now let's just deal with uh, what we've got here. So, to fix or repair, so you can use reparieren, vidas meine Damen und Herren. Okay, so reparieren. Okay, that's uh, fix, repair. Now, the it is referring to der Wasserhahn. Okay, to repair it. Now, the it here would be in, which also translates as him, but we're talking about um, masculine noun here. So in is how we translate it, and myself or well, self is we're going to use selbst. Okay, all right. So selbst is to be das selbst. Now to sort it all out. Okay, uh, the verb structure, so to speak, has to end up at the end and it has to be over here. So have a good look at that, because it's quite a complex sentence. Here's the backup, just to make sure I've taught you the right thing. Okay, I've actually underlined the past participles in that uh, particular example there. Right, moving on to number three, ladies and gents. Now, after I had worked for three months, so the first clause is this one here. Now, this is using nachdem, okay? Nachdem often takes what we call the pluperfect. After I had worked, not after I have worked, all right? So it's uh, a specific structure often associated with the pluperfect. So, nachdem, now before we sort out the word order, let's just get all the words in play. So, uh, nachdem ich 
uh, hatte now worked um, is uh, gearbeitet. Okay, so you got gearbeitet wie das. Now I just want to make the um, situation clear that we would probably say for in Ger uh, in English, right? Worked for in German, you don't need that. So let's just get rid of that altogether. So the three months is uh, drei uh, Monate. Yeah, wie das meine Damen und Herren. As you see at the moment, the word order is all over the place. So Nachdem has a similar situation to vile. Therefore, okay, now if that wasn't there, let's say nach, let's take out Nachdem, it would be Ich hatte drei Monate gearbeitet. So the first thing that we're going to send to the end, which would have originally, in a sense, been at the end, is gearbeitet. Okay, now, obviously, because we've got Nachdem in there, we then need to put that first verb beyond it. So I'm going to put it, so I'm going to get rid of that comma in a minute. So don't be, okay, because it's still part of that same clause. All right, and put the comma after it over here. Uh, there's a reason why I didn't just put it next to the comma, okay. It often would then underline that, and so I don't want that to happen. It's just me, sorry. Okay, so that is the first bit there, after I worked for three months. Now, my mother got sick. My mother became sick. So... My, I'm just going to use Z for she, uh, for my mother for a second. Now, she became is Z ist geworden. All right, so you have a look at Z ist geworden. Now, um, it takes, it comes from werden, which means to become, and it takes sein. Okay, so that is, it's not Z hat geworden, but Z ist geworden. Now, if you remember, you have to have verb backing onto a verb here. All right, so we're going to start off with ist okay so we go ist meine mutter so ist meine mutter okay and then the geworden let's just put it in here for a second like so that will then because it's the past, part past participle there's no connective involved therefore that will go to the end of the sentence like so okay and crank is das so the whole sentence nachdem ich drei monate gearbeitet hatte Ist meine Mutter krank geworden. My mother became ill or sick. Right, as one I made earlier. Let's double check that I've got it correct from the previous one. And then, ladies and gents, let's move on to number four. Excuse me, and it's a slight itchy nose. Now, although is of vol, it's like another sort of vile situation. Okay, so of vol ich war. Okay, so this is the first verb, therefore that's got to go to the end of the clause. So still young is noch jung. All right, so noch jung. So we just need to put this, ladies and gents, over here uh, like so. Obwohl ich noch jung war, um, I like that a lot. Okay, this is quite a, a nice little complex thing to work out because uh, it's using gefallen, which essentially, okay, is an impersonal verb, okay? So you, what we're going to literally say, has to me that good pleased, okay? Um, that is the literal translation of what I'm now about to type in here, okay? And if you put that into good English, it means simply, I like that a lot, okay? Um, that thing pleased me well, if you like. So um, we're going to kind of work it around this way just to make life a little bit easier for us okay all right so um uh, right we'll deal with this bit here so i liked so hat uh to me hat mir gefallen so we've built it up this way so literally please me therefore i liked now you liked it or that so we then need um the german for uh, das, okay, uh, a lot or good, literally as I put down here, good or well over there, uh, gut, so let's put that in there. So these two words, ladies and gents, I'm going to cut them from there and put them, okay, just before the past participle. Okay, hopefully that's explained that well enough for you. Okay, so it's one of these situations where Sometimes learning it off by heart might be better than actually sort of looking at linguistic logic, maybe. Okay, so if you just think that literally means has to me that uh, good or well pleased. 
please me, basically. All right, got the idea. Right, brilliant. So there we are. That's number four, ladies and gents. Uh, moving on to uh, number five. So here we go. I knew. So ich habe gewusst. So ich habe gewusst. Okay, means I knew. I have known, literally. Okay. Now we're going to, pardon me, we're going to deal with, this is uh, the first part of the sentence. Okay. Um, all right. So sofort. Entschuldigung. Uh, so what is das and that needs to fall in the middle of this so let's just get the past participle beyond that because that needs to go to the end of the clause ladies and gents uh, like so there we are put the comma in so ich habe sofort gewusst das that now um, the carer in German is pflegen is to care so pflege that will be a male carer uh, adding on I am female okay uh, obviously you wouldn't put the, uh, the the hyphen in there so is is ist right das Pfleger so that ist because it's das here the vile situation that ist needs to go to the end so let's just work out what uh, the right job for me is so der richtiger so you got der richtiger meine Damen und Herren so der richtiger job okay für mich für mich jawohl sag ich so you got for mich wie das so we need to just catapult the ist to the end over here like so ich habe sofort gewusst uh, I knew immediately das Pfleger carer der richtige job für mich ist okay right all happy with that number six let's try out number six okay and this could be a trying sentence to work out literally so I have tried out now to try out is aus probieren now this is an interesting one okay as you can see it's a separable verb and normally I would say that you put a GE here in the middle but if you look carefully at it it's an ihren verb and ihren verbs you do not have a GE there at all so it's just simply the past participle, past participle is simply going to be else probiert as I've got down here un, under the Hauptpunkt section. So let's uh, work it out, ladies and gents. Let's go for it. So ich habe. So ich habe. Uh, be nice. Uh, let's just put the else here. Okay. Uh, we'll build it up. So we've got probiert is the second bit. Let's cut it. Let's put it next to here, like so okay so we're just dealing with this first bit here okay at the moment so many jobs is a uh, viele jobs natürlich so viele jobs meine Damen und Herren so you need to cut that and bring it over here like so ich habe viele jobs ausprobiert jawohl um, now cook now talking from a female standpoint so Kirchen we koch uh, for, for male, um, uh, cashier is kassierin. Um, all right, get there in a minute. So, kassiererin. Sorry, I just pronounced that wrong, didn't I? Kassiererin. Bit of a mouthful, that one. Um, zoga, even. Okay, nice little word to learn there. Uh, Schauspielerin. Wunderbar, ne? So Schauspielerin wie das, that's an actress, we've got I N on the end, it'd be Schauspieler if it's male. Okay, but nothing, I didn't like any of them, so I didn't like any of them, all right? So literally, so we've got Abba, nothing pleased me, is what, what, how we're going to literally say this. Abba, uh, nix, but nothing, okay, so nix hat mir gefallen all right so hat mir uh, do, 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 do. so i didn't like any of them in good english so uh let's put this in hat mir gefallen all right so hat mir gefallen okay let's just get rid of all this there's quite a bit of it debris that's one way of looking at it Let's put mir in some different kind of, uh, I don't know, just make it different. Why not? Right. Has to me, please. 
but literally, but nothing has to me pleased. I didn't like any of them, okay? So sometimes when you, let's imagine that you're looking at the translation, uh, because there's a lot of English into uh, target language translation these days in the new sort of exam, and you're confronted with this, you have to almost sort of think outside the box a little bit. I didn't like any of them, okay? This is a classic example where you're going to have to sort of almost sort of get be way beyond the English mindset and bring in Gefallen and think, how can I use Gefallen in this context? So, but nothing has to me please. Nothing pleased me. Yeah, nothing pleased me. Now, yeah, so is the, uh, das ist die Antwort, meine Damen und Herren. So, um, uh, dazu, that is uh, additional phrases to look at. Okay, from German to English this time. Ich bin, I am, Pfleger, Carer vom Beruf. By profession. Okay, my job is uh, carer. Als ich 16 war, when I was 16, verb back onto verb, habe ich, have I literally, die Schule verlassen, uh, left the school. So when I was 16, I left school. Verlassen, okay, is to leave, it's also the past participle here. Again, as you can see, it's got VER, therefore you don't add on GE. Right, dann musste ich sie. Flagen. Then I had to look after her. So flagen here translates as look after. Then I had to look after her. So remember, muster had to, not have to. Now trotz is a bit like uh, statt and während and so on. It takes. It's one of these prepositions that takes um, uh, genitive. So trotz der langen Arbeitstage. So despite, literally, of the, in spite of the long working days, Arbeitstag is working, working days, yeah? So despite the long working days, mag ich, I like, so inversion there, ladies and gents, immer noch, always still, meinen job, my job, okay? So despite the long uh, working days, uh, I still like my job, uh, um, Always, literally. I'm trying to put it into better English than I have done. Okay. Right. Ich darf mich vorstellen. Uh, I'll introduce myself, basically. Quite important for, for job situation. Ich bin Klempnerin. I am a plumber. That would be a female plumber. Take off I am for masculine. Obwohl ich keine Erfahrung hatte, hatte ich erfolg. So, although I, no experience had, had I success, literally. So we got this verb back on verb, a vile situation. So although I had no experience, um, had ich Erfolg, I had success. All right, and the last one. Ich habe dann eine Lehre gemacht. I, I then did a um, uh, apprenticeship. So uh, I then did an apprenticeship. Okay, ich habe gemacht, I did. Ich bin jetzt gelernter Klempnerin. I am now um, a trained plumber. Best way to translate that. Okay, meine Damen und Herren, tschüss, mach's gut, dankeschön. Okay, things or methodology that you could use or within the classroom itself um, and the rationale behind making the videos in the first place. Dankeschön.